dear shareholders, sustainability continues to be a key element in our O2C business. We are accelerating the use of renewable energy and are well on our way to becoming one of the largest users of renewable energy in India. Additionally, Reliance is making significant progress on various sustainability initiatives, including PET recycling, chemical recycling of plastics to produce pyrolysis oil, polyolefin recycling, conversion of hazardous waste into alternative fuels and raw materials, and the development of zero waste. Reliance already recycles over 2 billion PET bottles in India and is on track to reach a capacity of 5 billion bottles per annum by next year. In summary, I would like to reiterate that our oil to chemical business continues to be a robust growth engine, steadily enhancing its financial performance for a long time to come. We are actively investing in new capacities and capabilities to meet the demand growth in India. Dear shareholders, let me update you on the progress we made in our new energy business. A newest and most ambitious engine for growth and value creation at Reliance. This is a business with a special purpose, driven by our deep commitment to the philosophy of we care for our Mother Earth. Two mega concerns compelled us to embark upon this journey. First, the planetary imperative to mitigate the climate crisis. Second, India's own imperative to become a self-reliant, green economy powered by green energy. Last year, I explained how India is confronted with a pressing energy trilemma, the availability of affordable, sustainable, and self-sufficient energy. This energy trilemma will become more acute as India's economy becomes larger and grows faster. In 2023, India generated nearly 1,600 billion units of electricity. To meet India's growth projections, this number needs to double in the next 10 years. Obviously, green and clean energy will need to provide the lion's share of this growth. My dear shareholders, last year at our AGM, I shared our work in bioenergy. I explained how your company is embracing societal challenges, delivering a unique solution to India's problem of nearly 230 million tons of non-cattle feed biomass, a significant contributor to air pollution. Starting from just two demo units a couple of years ago, we are now rapidly expanding our investments in bioenergy to reach 55 operating compressed biogas plants by 2025. These 55 integrated CBG plants will increase the incomes of our farmers by converting annadatas to urjadatas, food producers to energy producers. They will also generate over 30,000 direct and indirect jobs in rural areas, creating a model of all-around prosperity of the rural economy. Additionally, we have initiated an energy plantation pilot on 1,000 acres of arid wasteland to establish a first-of-its-kind integrated CBG plant. This initiative will create a self-sustaining ecosystem by transforming India's large wastelands into productive lands through the cultivation of energy crops. Spearheaded by a dynamic team of technologists and agro-scientists, we are also establishing the world's largest bioenergy deep tech R&D center at Jamnagar, focusing on, first, process improvements through customized biocatalyst and microbial consortia, second, developing high-yield drought-resistant variants for energy crops, third, automating bioenergy plant operations and supply chain from farm to the plant. And fourth, integrating energy needs of the plant through photo agro voltaic solar technology for sustainable electricity supply. Together, these efforts represent our commitment to leading the way 
in the bioenergy revolution and creating a sustainable future for India and beyond. Dear friends, I am delighted to announce that by the end of this year, we will commence the production of our own solar photovoltaic modules. In the following quarters, we will complete the first phase of our integrated solar production facilities. These include modules, cells, glass, wafer, ingot, and polysilicon with an initial annual capacity of 10 gigawatts. Our Giga factory is designed for modular expansion at minimal cost and in the shortest possible time. We have fully integrated and indigenized the HJT technology from REC Singapore, our wholly owned subsidiary, to develop first gen bifacial solar panels with cell efficiency exceeding 26%. Additionally, we have significantly enhanced our R&D capabilities by establishing a state-of-the-art prototyping, testing, and validation lab in India, and we are expanding our advanced solar technology lab in Singapore. These advancements will provide a clear path to upgrade our Gen 1 products through cost reductions and optimization of supply chain, as well as efficiency improvements. This will allow us to develop disruptive technologies like perovskites and back contact HJT IBC, which we have already demonstrated at pilot scales with plans to commercialize them within the next two years. This innovation has the potential to fundamentally transform the solar PV industry. Our next generation modules will offer even greater efficiency, deliver more power from the same size modules at a lower life cycle cost. Dear shareholders, to harness low cost solar energy and make it available round the clock, we need energy storage solutions using stationary batteries. We have already begun construction of an integrated advanced chemistry-based battery manufacturing facility with a 30 gigawatt hour annual capacity at Jamnagar. Production will commence by the second half of next year. We will start by assembling battery energy storage systems for utility scale applications and pack solutions for residential, commercial, industrial, telecom and mobility markets. Progressively, over the next few quarters, we will integrate backwards to cell manufacturing and eventually to battery chemicals production. This will create the world's only fully integrated battery giga factory driving synergies across the value chain. Our giga factory will be smart from the start and fully digitally native. We will have full track and trace capability from battery materials to cells, to systems, packs installed in the field. These production lines will be future-proof and adaptable to different chemistries and changing cell form factors. The modular design will allow us to rapidly expand annual capacity in multiples of 30 gigawatt hours, responding to both domestic and global demand while meeting diverse requirements from stationary to mobility applications. We have built deep strengths in electrochemical and product innovations with access to talent, including from our subsidiaries, lithium work and ferradium. We have a strong team of nearly 150 technologists committed to deliver next generation batteries and storage solutions that focus on safety, stability, and reduced life cycle costs. My dear shareholders, our deep understanding of electrochemistry combined with our ability to industrialize at scale and integrate with low-cost solar energy gives us a unique advantage in delivering green hydrogen and green fuels at the most economical cost. To achieve this, we have begun work on establishing a fully automated multi-gigawatt electrolyzer manufacturing facility on the west coast of India which will be ready by 2026. This Giga factory will be fully adaptable, capable of supporting 
various technologies such as alkaline, PEM and AEM. The facility is built using industry 4.0 standards and will be expandable in a modular fashion to meet market demand. In parallel, we are building capabilities for futuristic electrolysis-based technologies to tackle challenges in energy efficiency and capital cost reduction for our next-gen electrolyzers. Dear shareholders, Reliance's vision and mission is to make India a global leader in green and clean energy, which is indeed mankind's energy future. We are well on our way to converting our vision into reality within the timelines we had set. This is a testament to our unparalleled project execution capabilities and relentless efforts of our team. Jamnagar is the energy capital of the world. I am proud to say that by 2025, Jamnagar will also become the cradle of our new energy business. The Dhirubhai Ambani Green Energy Giga Manufacturing Complex will be the world's largest, most modern, modular and integrated ecosystem at a single location. We are on track to fully commit and invest up to rupees 75,000 crores to establish this manufacturing ecosystem extensively enabled by all emerging technologies, including AI, IoT, machine learning, and robotics. Our complete ownership and automation of the integrated value chain will allow us to maximize margins that are higher than those of standalone, non-integrated players. To support our investments, we are committed to partnering with leading global technology companies, building world-class, state-of-the-art R&D capabilities, and expanding our large, dynamic talent pool of PhDs, technologists, and engineers from various nationalities. This will ensure that our company emerges as a deep tech, new energy leader with advanced manufacturing capabilities. This will keep us at the forefront of innovation and help us continuously introduce higher efficiency, reduce life cycle costs, and next-gen products. Friends, earlier I shared with you my vision to maximize the harnessing of photons, convert them into low-cost electrons, and add value by creating green molecules through electrolysis. I am pleased to report that we are well on our way to realizing this vision. We have leased arid wasteland in Kutch, just 250 kilometers from Jamnagar. This wasteland has the potential to generate about 150 billion units of electricity in the next 10 years, providing nearly 10% of India's energy requirements today. We have already begun significant project development work and are building our own transmission infrastructure to bring online solar generation projects that will deliver stable, renewable energy on a round-the-clock basis at gigawatt scale in a phased manner commencing 2026. Our proven engineering and construction capabilities combined with the utilization of AI and data-driven approaches for configuration, design, project execution and operations will enable us to deliver the most affordable and stable RERTC power in the shortest time. In addition, we have secured access to nearly 2,000 acres of land at the Kandla port, which complements our existing marine infrastructure at Jamnagar. This integrated coastal infrastructure will provide us with an unparalleled competitive advantage for production, storage, evacuation, and shipping of green fuels to various markets in India and across the globe, ensuring we fetch the highest value for our green fuel molecules. My dear shareholders, with this robust ecosystem, we will accelerate the development of renewable energy round-the-clock power and green fuels 
projects in a modular and phased manner. The prospects of perpetual growth and profitability of our new energy businesses are assured by five factors. First, our focus will be on meeting our large captive RERTC requirements across our group businesses over the next five to seven years, drastically saving their energy cost. These projects will be backed by firm offtake contracts and will generate positive cash flow for our existing businesses. Second, our investment in green fuels project will be supported by value accretive offtake agreements with large global counterparts. Third, with short gestation periods from conceptualization to commissioning and cash flow generation, we will ensure with razor sharp focus that these projects are cash flow positive from day one. Fourth, as we expand our next gen products developed through our deep tech R&D will deliver higher efficiency and reduce costs leading to further margin expansion. Fifth, these businesses are being built with a mindset of startup growth companies with empowered task force teams with best in class global talent. Your company has a strong balance sheet, robust annual accruals and access to the most competitive global institutional capital to responsibly invest in and support our new energy commitments. We believe that our new energy business will be truly unique, delivering cash flows that are less cyclical and more predictable. I am therefore confident that in the next five to seven years, our new energy growth engine can aim to deliver an earning capacity like what our existing O2C business earns and what it has achieved over the last four decades. Reliance Foundation has been at the very core of our commitment to our We Care philosophy. Let me now invite Nita to provide an overview of the outstanding work done by Reliance Foundation.